Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my mining empire. I did a little bit of work without recording and replaced all my pipes to the level 2 variants, as well as realized if I just place my cauldron right here, the gold will go right in. There was, however, a ton of it in here, and I guess the game made it disappear. I wonder if I can still get it out of the mold? Nope. No? Alright, yeah, I've been scammed. That's quite alright though, because I've also started making my tunnel down, and then I realized with my level 1 shovel, I can only go so deep. However, I still have all my iron and random stuff in this bucket so let's go to the nice little convenient hole i made and i'm just gonna dump it all in there and hope my game doesn't crash survey says so far it's so good it's a little laggy it's kind of popcorning out i think it'll settle in due time pretty much just need to clear the crystals because i don't want to smelt these down as i need them for power just ignore the sound of five trillion iron colliding with one another over and over again <laughs> Wait, are those all gems in there? I've been losing resources to the bottom of this mine? Why? Man, no wonder I'm not the owner of the world yet. The world's been consuming my profits. But I am crystal clear. Is this gold? How'd this get in here? Go in there, little guy. Oh, God, we got stuck again. Oh, no. The creator of Hydronir himself sent me a Twitter DM, and he was like, Hey, man, you're stupid. Use the splitters. And I said, thank you. So along with me about to go deeper into this mine, I should also be able to make this 18 times more efficient and profitable. For right now, though, I need to scoop up all of these giant massive gems sweet sweet profits can you guys go in the bucket for me and then i should be able to take the bucket dump it into the cauldron which ends up being a nice little bit and then it's simply just a matter of rinse and repeat smelt away my friend i don't know if there's actually a cap on how much iron you can smelt at one time before it breaks or before you're just wasting resources but i filled this thing up so might as well just smelt now i do believe this is the last little why did that not work it's fine no stranger to the hard way get this mold out of here now Oh, iron bar. I've also been told all these gems have no different value except for this mysterious onyx that I found. So I'll be keeping you in a safe spot right there. And iron, I need you to heat up because I'll need a decent little chunk of money for what I want to do today. I kind of got distracted and had to come over here and fix this. It sometimes doesn't work. But as I was saying, what's more profitable than a big old sword? The creator also DM'd me and told me to make this. So now my debt is paid and I'll be going to get paid shortly. No, why are you breaking? Get healed. I have healed you. Congrats. Let me take my casting mold of gold. Fun little rhyme. And make another bar. And then I can make my crystal shard bar. The resources are starting to add up. And akin to how the sword is better than the other things, the necklace better than the ring. And with onyx being the best gem out of them all, this makes an onyx necklace. And I just broke what? this without meaning to. Gosh dang it. Can you go into the machine? Nope. No? Yes. Got it. All right, necklace. You with me. Gigantic sword. Expensive gold necklace. I can practically hear the profits now. Also, thanks to everyone's comments, I know this thing's here still. So let's see. Enough iron to break the game gives me about 3,300. How is it that well balanced? Oh my gosh. Thank you. And how about a ton of gold and the rarest gem out there? 2,000? That's even better. Because with 5,000 hydro coins, I can buy a few things that I've been wanting. My level 2 pickaxe, my level 2 shovel, and as much as I want to get this logic compressor, it costs 2,300. So for right now, I'll just get my rake. 1,800 coins, chump chain. Why is- oh, because my money's still in here. That's why. Can you stack? By the power invested, combined. Thank you. And bye. Time for me to take my new tools as I'm going to run over here and drop them. I thought my game just broke. Speaking of breaking, no. Can I hire someone to sit in my Hydroneer world and just make sure stuff doesn't break? I'll give you one crisp high five and an occasional good job supportive remark. Now, how does this rake tool work? It says it levels land. Is it just- okay, well that raised it. Wait, can I just push it down? Oh wait, there we go. You know, this thing might not be so bad. Now I have my my common shovel though along with my common pick and the scale is just a handy little machine because i can take a resource put it on it learn it sells for 21 coins and the ruby sells for 17 i was lied to how much does the sapphire sell for eight so sapphire ruby emerald onyx got it i'll never get conned again so i want to do a quick test with this shovel and fill this bucket with dirt down here because this is like the end of tier one territory don't you in there now, what are my resources looking like well first off that's a giant thing of cloudium second off that is a hunk of iron how much is this worth? 29 coins in and of itself. And how much is the iron worth that I've been mining? Three. You're telling me you're nine times more expensive. Oh, I'm a fool to have been so inefficient. That's fine. I'll just fix that real quick. Now, if I just mash my head hard enough into the mountains, I can 
kind of x-ray in and see how close I am to the bottom. What do you know? I'm not quite there yet. Is this as far as tier two goes? Are there tier three tools in this game? Look, I'm not at the deepest part yet. All right, since I've kind of just snaked my way down there, let me run down, set my common shovel down here, and I come back with my random bucket. Just fill him up quite nicely. Don't freak out, cheesh. All right, now, what does four bottom of tier two get me? That, okay. My previous hunk of iron was 29. This one is worth 39. I also have a hunk of gold now, which is worth 74. I must go deeper. And since these things are only tier one, I'm assuming I can't go all the way down to the bottom, which is commonly where all the rarest ores are anyways. So I need to make a quick little trip. Wait for me, my riches. I'm off to go fulfill my evil idea. Hadronir 2.0 is all about crafting. So of course we have to come to the Ice Helm shop because this is where our profit can really take off. For right now, I just want to buy the masterwork design as I'm not the most confident guy on how I'm supposed to do this. Or well, wait a second. Do I just need 300 weight or $300 worth of iron? I don't know. But it looks like once we have the design, we just smack it on this little table and then I need to not fall down here. You know, maybe I should buy this plot now that I think about it. What are the ores like down here? But now that my eyes have been opened up to the way of being the laziest man alive and still learning a profit, I need to go place some bars on a scale. I should also probably remember I have like 9,000 coins in there. And oh God, oh, this is all right. No, I'm, are we done? There it is. Just a little bit of a hiccup in the road. Nothing to get, you know, all crying over for. <laughs> I just want a normal car, man. Hello, am I not quite as good as this other automation system, automation system? We're gonna go ahead and do my popcorn method again. Wait, clear the shard that's already in there. Now we popcorn method. That was a little laggy, but it'll be fine. You think this is a reason why there's a bunch of gems like in the earth, actually? Wait, <laughs> maybe I need to be a little bit smarter about what I'm doing. All right though, dump all that iron in there. Thank you. Yeah, I forgot I have these gigantic chunks of iron too. Man, my memory might not be what it used to be. I forgot what I was gonna say. All right, iron go on. It's worth 300 coins, but its weight is only 25. If I have to have an iron weight of 300, oh man, will I be here for a long time. It's fine. Just smelt the other iron, please. Whilst I wait for that, might as well use my ever so profitable gold I have too. Get sawed, idiot. Do I have another onyx in here somewhere? I don't really look at my gems ever. Let's just dump them out right here. Seems like a safe space. Oh, I do. Set you aside. And the rest of you actually get to come with me for a second. Into the truck. And I just have psychokinetic iron up here again. Come on, game, please. It's hard enough being the only person left alive in the entire world, yet alone run a mining operation where the iron is sentient. Ah, well, all ends up the same. And this is like a perfect 304 bar of iron. So I'm just going to smack that there. Because if it is just material worth, that thing is ideal. And just for profit's sake, another onyx necklace. One of these days, I'll be able to make one of these worth like three billion dollars. For today, I'll accept you. Oh man, this iron is just shy of 300. You think this random amount of iron that's on the ground will be enough to actually put it above it? <laughs> Drop on in, friend. Now we can find out. Survey says 358. All right, I've got everything I need to potentially open the door to a very bright future. Can this at least be 1800 bucks game? A thousand? All right. Uh, feeling a little robbed, but you know what? I'll take what I can get for right now. <laughs> uh, now the reason I brought all those gems here is because this is where the gem stock market is. So that's, you know, another thousand gold. And can I stack you guys by chance? Nope. No? All right. How about now? There it is. Refuel the old truck. Now let's drop everything in here to carry. This is a well thought out system from a guy who barely thinks about anything. I'm also glad I am immortal because that would hurt like crazy. So the number 300 written on iron in the side. This is a decently sized iron bar. I think I throw it in the cauldron and then pull, push lever, get operation to go. No. And I just broke my legs again. Well, now that just makes me think it has to be 300 weight wise. Just to be sure, I'm throwing in another bit. Yeah, I just heard that melt. Still nothing? Nope. No? Oh man. Well now, isn't that just gonna take me a long amount of time? I do, however, have 6,000 coins. Throw that there. And there's a ton of little polishers and shredders and stuff here. So an idea has entered my head. Why did I end up all the way over here? Can I call my vehicle back somewhere near me? Wow. All right, idea time. Turn you back on. Give me my iron piece, because currently I need more iron than gold. So that's what's being sorted. As for me, I need to take my common pick and start making a little cave down here. Actually, I wonder, would a rake work better for this? The answer to that question is absolutely it does. Although, let me grab my tier one pickaxe, because I'm not really the most confident on this. So this is in fact the bottom of where I can go. I needed to make sure of that before I made a horrible error. I think I can do something like just abusing my pickaxe to make a little tunnel, because you have to at least uneven the dirt with something before you can rake it. But now that I have, I've got like a nice little space here. Essentially just making a giant caving operation. Because all the best resources are at the bottom. It's like using a magic eraser on dirt. I love it. Ah, perfection. The 
the weird part, definitely about to be the ceiling. Actually, never mind. I think I just figured out the perfect way to do it. I am a genius. And ta-da. I'd mark that as a success. Of course, there's a big question on where do I run the pipes in from, which will probably end up being right here. Can I just keep breaking this, please? I feel like I'm so close to the surface. I think it's like around here somewhere. Although I feel like I've gone this far down and I've probably missed it. Oh no. How far off was I? Gotta go a little deeper and a little bit more to the left. And how long has this freaking filter been broken? That one just broke immediately as I used my last repair kit. All right. And now that these guys are glowing, just smack them for a little pendant. We'll go in here for a second. And now through uh, a little bit of irony, turns out my little popcorn hole was perfect for where my rake was. Now I'm kind of locked on my fun little cave automation until I fix the crybaby filters. Just means I need to go quickly sell an amulet. Oh, not that profitable necklace. Be somewhat profitable. Yeah, stupid freaking repair kits. All right, get repaired. Stop breaking. We're back to mining. Perfect. Wow, and I just witnessed an onyx come out. Perfect. Stand right there. I need a lot of money. I have my ideal. Speaking of which, what's this iron bar at? Weighs almost 40. I think that means I'm about to be a third of a way there. <laughs> Why am I still doing it like this too? Hang on. Construction block. Move you up. Grab my furnace out of there. Now if I just dig this hole deeper, I don't know where my furnace just went. How is it over there? What happened? There's some crazy physics in this game that I am not aware of. Either way, it just needs to sit right there. Then I can bonk the construction block and I'll just slide the piece of iron there for now. Actually, I think I just broke pretty much all of this. You know what? Screw it. I'm moving houses anyways. Also, I'm just gonna dump everything in and melt whatever I get. What are you popping out to be? Oh, it's an iron bar. Weighing it at eight pounds. Lovely. In that case, combine both of these back. Mega bar. I can move these filters over for now, as well as this stopping pump. And man, oh man, is moving this entire thing about to be a chore. <laughs> man, I'm gonna need a lot more pieces of pipe, huh? Turns out I can't even place iron drills here because my ceiling isn't high enough. All right, I'll fix that before anything else, I guess. You know, whilst I'm digging all this stuff up, the thought kind of hit me. Anyone find that hydronier code in this video yet? Ah, finally, two hours later, and I still can't place this here? What? Can I get an answer as to why not? Oh, it's because it can't mine this dirt, I think. Whatever, I'll figure it out. As for right now, I need to go on a very long journey. All the way back to my forge. And there go my legs. For one reason and one reason alone, I left my gold in here. I need to hurry up and invent Uber Eats in this world for random tasks like that. <laughs> Hop on the app. Hey, I'll give you 10 hydro coins if you just run and go pick up my 7,000. That's probably not the world's most fair trade-off, but hey, it'll work. 6,000 hydro coins, a lot of cloudium pipes about to be purchased. Should also probably pick up a few macaroni pipes just in case, and maybe two more cheese. All right, this is 4,000 coins of piping. I'm gonna run with it and hope I just don't need any more than this. <laughs> I might have uh, miscalculated the gigantic straight drop down. However, just for ease of convenience purposes, I'll end up just using iron pipes for a second. I realize I've made a critical caving error as my drill needs to be on the second top and my harvester be down here. So quick power of editing. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present automation system 2.0. Look at how much larger these shards are. Oh, is this a ruby? I didn't even know gems could be different sizes. Wow, that's massive. This one, however, works a tad bit differently. Rather than it going all the way into the sorter, I just turn it off. And since shards are the size of King Kong himself, pretty easy to grab them out. Once everything's been grabbed, I just take my bucket, dump it into the hand sorter, and there's a little explosion. Yep, kind of figured that would happen. <laughs> For this one, kind of need to take a bit more of a hands-on approach, but considering each of these iron nuggets are, excuse me, tiny bar, uh, three pounds each, I think it's safe to assume that by smelting all of these down, this bar makes 90 pounds. Also a thousand coins. Iron, though, is not what we're using for money, because we need to do some blueprints. So that's where all the gold comes in. One gold bar, 1,100 coins, 60 pounds. However, heat up said gold bar and grab a ruby. Now I've got a beautiful little ruby ring. Can I actually see how much this is worth on here? Oh yeah, 1,300 coins. My little bit of effort is being rewarded. And then just sort again, which causes the massive explosion. Gosh dang it. Iron into the cauldron and then into my mold. What are we at now? 194. Getting there. I just got an uncut onyx from this and this thing is gonna be worth, let's see, yeah, 800 coins in and of itself. Yeah, yeah, broken filter, I hear ya. So quick question, what would happen if I just took all the gold I had, smelted it down, put it into a mold, cut it, as each of these are 1100 coins themselves, and then real quick, I just combine them both, give them a smack, wow, talk about a big necklace, and that is just shy of 4,000. Oh, how lovely. I think my money problem's over, and with all that iron I just threw in, looks like my weight problem's over too. And in that case, give me my bar and my ring, because I've got some stuff to go attempt. Oh, baby ring, thanks for the 1300. Oh, Mr. Necklace, thanks for the 3700. 
And hello, my little mining prison. Down I go. Screw your elevator. Now, if I'm not mistaken with this iron bar, I should be able to throw it in. It cooks. And I pull my lever. Yes. Doesn't. Oh, God. Oh, it's yet another drill. And then I can put you there and you'll go up. Oh, and I only have to buy the masteries once. And it did give me my leftover iron back. Well, now that's just handy. Go back in there. A long time ago, I thought of a way to make my mining operation a lot, lot, lot better. And it looks like today's the day it finally happens. Let's go home, friends. Quick stop back home because I figured it would be backed up. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Before my dream becomes reality, I need to go take a quick little trip to the store though. Game, will you let me buy this? Nope. No, you're not even gonna let me pick up the money that I so rightfully earned. Is that just gonna be there forever now? After one quick relog, I am back and better than ever. Give me all of the pipes that I need for this, please. Now, if my math is right, and let's face it, when is it ever not? I should now have two functioning. I forgot to put dirt under it. That's a simple fix. Now are we good? There it is. Double the efficiency, double the ores, double the profit. Not to mention half the amount of time it takes for me to buy another drill and then, you know, keep repeating this cycle over and over again. Now, I just need to figure out a system that automates all my sorting and smelting and I'll be golden. That can't be too hard, right? 